Hi guys, so I got my new Galaxy Note 5 today and the S Pen got stuck. Anyway, I got it out for now, uh, but uh, let's actually take a look at the S Pen gate. Let's go do this baby. <gasps> Alright, so every Note series including Note 1, Note 2, Note 3, Note 4, they're all like this. The S Pen looks like this. There's a little knob here, so you can't insert it backwards. So whoever designed the new S Pen is a fucking idiot. I mean, there's so many examples where things can go wrong. What if your roommate plays prank on you and left your phone with the S Pen going backwards? How about you're in the dark fumbling and you put it in the wrong way? It may make sense to people who use a note, but if it fits, it should fit. Anyways, this is a huge design flaw. And uh, once you've inserted this way and take it out, it will break your sensor. And let's actually go take a closer look. All right, guys, so I took my whole phone apart just to take the S Pen out. I didn't really jug on it. It still broke the sensor. Let's actually go take a closer look. Let me go ahead and show you. All right, so here is the problem. When your S Pen is inserted the wrong way, what happens is uh, there is the S Pen detection sensor. So that's it, right? And what happens is it'll go through there. And then there's a, a knob here that will hold uh, your S Pen. All right. So you'll get stuck two ways. You can get stuck here or you can get stuck uh, where the sensor is. Okay. And when you pull it out, this will break your sensor. Mine's actually broken. And let me go ahead and demonstrate this way. And when I pull it out, all right, the sensor right here, I don't know if you can see right there, it's supposed to go back like this when you pull it out. And you can see with a broken sensor, goes in, comes out, and it does not detect because this little plastic thing is broken. Now this is a design flaw also. They should have made it with something like a rubber or something, but it's obviously some kind of plastic and it breaks uh, anytime you insert it like this goes like that and pull it out and it breaks pretty easily. Um, so maybe there's a way to fix it. So let's actually go ahead and take out the rest of it and see what that sensor looks like. Okay, to do that, um, simply take out these antenna cables, use a plastic tool, all right? And also detach any flex cables that's gonna hold it down like this one's holding down the uh, main motherboard and also this one, I think it's the front camera. And also this is obviously going to the battery. <laughs> All right, and this is going to the LCD right here. All right, just double check you've undone anything. And here's another flex cable on the right. All right, I also have this assembly video. I will upload it. Um, you can watch that on how to get to this point. But I just wanna kind of upload this first to show you what the fudge is wrong with Samsung Galaxy Note 5? <laughs> All right, there's a flex cable here also. If you open it up, you can go ahead and also undo this. All right, that's pretty much it. And we'll put that aside. And we'll go take a closer look as close as possible. All right, so this is the sensor. It's set like this. Once it goes that way, it's gonna come back. It's supposed to come back. But I think mine is broken. Yep, it's broken. Let's see right there. The plastic thing is actually broke. So it breaks very easily. They should have made it so it doesn't break as well. Okay, I actually found the broken piece here. Push it out. There we go. And boom shakalaka. So something broke that little piece of plastic as you can see here. And there's actually supposed to be, I think, two tabs that only have one. This is gonna be a really hard part to replace. So there's supposed to be another thing that's sticking out right there. So huge design flaw for Samsung. They're gonna have to recall the Note 5s or at least offer like a hundred bucks back, you know, refund on these defective Note 5s. I would totally not get a Note 5. Even if you do use it right, there's gonna be a time you make a mistake. That one time you make a mistake and it's gonna break your S Pen detection. You can still use the phone. I mean, but you paid seven, eight hundred dollars for this phone. Uh, that has a broken feature, uh, it's design flaw. 
screw that. Okay, the funny thing is, th th this thing seems to be working, but for some reason, when I have it inserted uh, there, it's gonna go like this, and it doesn't, it's supposed to hit that knob and pull it out, but it doesn't work. So there we go, I'm pushing in. That's great, and when I'm pulling out, it should pull out all the way back here, but it gets stuck in the middle right there. An easy way to fix this is make sure there's a knob here, so I'm gonna have to reattach this there, maybe using super glue. It's not supposed to go all the way down past like this. That's the problem. It's supposed to stay uh, somewhat like there. <laughs> anyway, this sucks. I'm, I'm gonna try to put it back, but uh, this is gonna be like impossible to fix uh, because it's soldered in there. I mean, you can unsolder it and put a new part in there, but it's just a small part that can break so easily. I can't believe that they did this on the major feature of the note. I'm gonna put this back, pissed. To put it back, make sure you insert the cable, flex cable here, just clips in there, and just put it down. Make sure that you don't step over the antennas here. Just kind of put it up to the side and make sure over here also, uh, get the battery cable out here and just go ahead and backwards and put it back in. That's pretty much it. Again, I'll have the uh, disassembly video I already uh, recorded, but I just got to edit it and I'll have it up by tomorrow. But I just want to get this out to you guys to show you in detail the design flaw of Samsung Galaxy Note 5. You know, I said it countless times uh, in my other Note 5 video, when Note 5 was announced, they really prejaculated. It's like they could have took the time, put a better processor and make it as good as possible. And they rushed it for some reason and they end up with this Note 5 that I don't want. I mean, I will still use it. It's a great phone, but with serious design flaw which is the S Pen detection where you can take it out, take notes, but it breaks so easily. Anyway, even if you bought a Note 5, I mean, this video should help you avoid these problems. And if you haven't bought a Note 5, I highly suggest you wait until Samsung addresses this issue. They made a ton of money off us, probably billions, selling all those notes. It's time they use that money to fix our note the way we want it, not like this. All right, put the antennas back in. This one, just be careful. Don't put too much force. If you put it on the wrong way to put too much force, you'll have to get a new cable. And that sucks. I've done it once before. Just make sure you align it uh, before you push it in. That's pretty much it and put it back in and you should be good to go. Just everything backwards. Right there is the problem. There's actually really no way to fix this other than take it all apart, unsolder that part, put it back in. Unfortunately, uh, if you break this, you're gonna have to get a new phone and Samsung's gonna have to open up all of these phones and fix it. What a mess. All right, guys, if this happens to you, it's not the end of the world. Um, just take it back to the store. They should replace a new one. Uh, but if you can't for some reason and you must live with it, um, you can still use the S Pen, just S Pen detection won't work. So a simple way to fix this, right? You'll see that my S Pen does not work. Oh, now it's working. Oh, I got it fixed. That's crazy. So I must have done something right. Now it's working. <laughs> now it's working. I fixed it. So maybe what the little plastic piece I took out actually fixed the action and it's actually now working. Wow. <laughs> I'm never opening this again, but I show you the flaw and sort of, I fixed it. I, I don't know how I did it, but I took that little plastic piece out. Maybe that made a difference. Uh, but you can still use the S Pen, all right? You can go ahead and turn off pen detection, and this will allow you to use it, uh, whether it's out or not. But for some reason, I got it fixed, and I'm, I'm really, really, really happy. I got it working 
full con look at condition. Anyway, I'll have the full disassembly video coming tomorrow because it's gonna be a lot of editing, but I just wanna get this out. Uh, Samsung, you gotta fix this. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to slap you. You like that, huh? You like that? <laughs> you like it rough, huh? I mean, I got very lucky and I somehow fixed it by disassembling, but you probably don't even wanna go that far. Anyway, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe. I'll see you guys soon, as always. I'll stay. <laughs> on Android. <laughs> yeah, yeah! F you, Samsung. I fixed my own phones, bitch.